Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. In this episode, we're going to prove yet again that absolutely great cooking doesn't have to be all that complicated. In fact, it can be very, very simple. In this edition, we're going to make black or green cardamom rice. It is an absolutely delicious side, and it will really spice up your rice so everyone will love it. So come on, let's cook. So here are the very basic ingredients for our black or green cardamom rice. And I'm not paid to endorse either of these products, but I will tell you that's a very good extra long grain rice. So I certainly, you know, I use that all the time. And that chicken broth is very good if I'm not using my homemade version. I prefer to use the homemade version, but that brand is very good. And um, I got to tell you, not all chicken broths uh, store-bought chicken broths are cre created equal. Some of them are very tasty and some of them are really flat. So um, spend a little money on the chicken broth because that is really the, um, the backbone to this dish. And in the front, here's what we have. We have black cardamom. I have four black cardamom seeds. And these are absolutely, absolutely delicious. They have almost like this, um, this roasty, burnt wood spicy aroma and that aroma is absolutely telling you what it will do in this dish very rich very delicious the green cardamom tends to be uh, spicy but a little bit more on that literally the green end it's a little bit more of a um, a spunky fresh taste to it so depending on which taste you're looking for that's the cardamom you should pick the green is a little bit easier to find. You might have to order the black cardamom or go to, um, go to like an Indian grocery or, or an Asian grocery of some sort may have these black cardamom seeds. Let me show you how to put this together. And again, don't be fooled. This is an, an amazingly delicious side. Now I am preparing the rice according to the directions on the package. Um, I suggest you do the same thing with a couple of changes. First of all, I'm only making uh, three cups of rice. That's perfect for my, uh, my needs. If I were making more, you know, I would just exponentially increase the amount of rice and the amount of chicken broth. The chicken broth is optional. If you don't want to use chicken broth, you can certainly use water and just, again, prepare it according to the directions on the package. Because really the only big difference we're doing is the, uh, in this case, the black cardamom. And if you want, you can use the green. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to put my cup of rice in this, um, in this pan. And then to me, the secret to fluffy rice is to always add a little bit less liquid than they call for on the package. So this, one, this brand of rice calls for two cups. So what I'm going to add is a cup and two thirds. There we go. And I can guarantee you that rice will come out um, just fine. Uh, I find that when I make it according to the directions on the package, and I have no idea why this happens, the rice tends to turn out soggy. And this is even um, more true when I'm dealing with the chicken broth. And then all I'm doing is I'm taking these seeds, just want to make sure you can see, and I'm just going to split them. Don't break them up fine, because if you break, them up, break these up fine, it's going to get all over the rice, and the rice is going to be crunchy. So just cut a little slice in it that will re release some of that black cardamom flavor. And if you're working with a green cardamom, do the same thing. But leave the seeds, for the most part, intact. You don't want a bunch of crunchy pieces of cardamom in this dish. So there we go, just a nice little slit in the cardamom to release that, that delicious roasty flavor. And now I'm just going to put this rice over on the stove and cook it per the directions on the package. So I'll be back when it's done. So look at what you just did. You just made this delicious black cardamom rice. You can make the green version too, don't get me wrong, but this is absolutely delicious. You can add a little salt, a little butter, serve it the way you normally would rice. Sometimes I put soy sauce on it. It's absolutely delicious. I wish you could smell that black cardamom. Oh, it is just super. Now, 
If you like this recipe, then please go to my website, stepbystepchef.com. There you're going to find over 100, well over 100 recipes and links to my cookbook, Cooking with the Step-by-Step -Step Chef. You will find links to this. And I update this every year with additional recipes. So you just might like those too. And there is a printable version of the black cardamom recipe on my site. So you can just go visit. You don't have to buy the book. The printable version is right there. But if you do buy the book, you know, you'll be my hero. It's totally up to you. So again, I am Larry Richardson. I am your step-by-step -step chef. And I'll see you in the next episode.